Are you serious? Are you serious? Tim Tebow and Donnie McClurkin both are being discriminated against because of not the color of their skin because Donnie, Donnie McClurkin is an African American and Tim Tebow is Caucasian. But why are they both being discriminated against? Why are they both being scrutinized? Why are they both being outcast? Not because of their skin color, but because of the content of the character in their heart. And what is that content of the character in their heart? It's Jesus Christ, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. What? Get a cup of coffee. This is an unbelievable, amazing story, what's happening around the world. The Christians are being murdered around the world, but in America we're being scoffed and mocked, and it's time that we stand up and say, you know what, this is a biblical sign of the apocalypse. This is exactly what Jesus said would happen in Matthew 24, in verses 9 and 10. He told us, not just the earthquakes, not just the wars and rumors of wars, not just the uh, nation rising against nation, and kingdoms against kingdoms, and famines and pestilence, and all these other diseases, but also he said, then they shall deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and you shall be hated of all nations, for my name's sake, and then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. There is going to be persecution. Now the Bible says, uh, Blessed are ye when men shall revile you, and shall persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my name's sake. He said, Rejoice, and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. And that's in the Sermon on the Mount, in the Beatitudes. Let me tell you what's going on. First of all, let's tell you about Donnie McClurkin. Donnie McClurkin. Donnie McClurkin was told to stay home by the mayor of Washington, D.C. What? What? That's right. Mayor Vincent Gray. Get this. The mayor of Washington, D.C. disinvited or run off. Time to stay home. Get him out. He's the headliner. They're having a concert. A go they're having a gospel concert. And Donnie McClurkin is the headliner. He's the top guy. Thousands of people are coming Saturday night for a concert on reflections from Gandhi to Martin Luther King. And he's canceled on his way to the airport. He's in the car getting ready to get on the plane. Uh, mayor of Washington, D.C. disinvited a famous gospel singer Saturday from headlining the civil rights concert in the nation's capital. According to reports, multi-Grammy and stellar award winner Donnie McClurkin, who says that he turned to homosexuality for a short time after being sexually abused by men as a child. All right? He posted a video statement on social cam Saturday night that he was asked not to attend the event that day. Reflections on Peace from Gandhi to Martin Luther King was to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Civil Rights Movement in America. Last night, on the way to the airport, I received a telephone call from the promoter's who had received word from the mayor's office, as well as the Arts Commission, that I was not welcomed and uninvited. They waited until the last moment to demand that I be taken off the concert list. McClurkin stated that there were only 15 or 20 people protesting his presence at the event. Compared to the thousands who were expected to attend. It's discrimination, said McClurkin. It's bullying, said McClurkin. It's intolerance, said McClurkin. He was, he's been disenfranchised. He's been discriminated against. He's been bullied by the mayor of Washington, D.C. He's, he's, they have no tolerance for Christians. 
It's amazing. It's amazing to me that the people who are, who are preaching against discrimination are going around discriminating. What? What? Mayor Gay, I mean, I mean, Mayor Gray, may I say to you for a second, excuse me, Mayor Vincent Gray, let me say something to you right now. You're a hypocrite. You're an absolute hypocrite about this. You're a hypocrite. And as the mayor of a city, you're going to say to a Christian, the guy that's headlining the concert, don't come because of 15 people whining about the fact that he loves Jesus Christ. Oh, the problem is it's because he had been a little boy that had been abused by perverts, by homosexual per deviant men. And the, and the sexual confusion caused him to, uh, to be uh, the spirit of this homosexual uh, uh, invasion of his own self-esteem and understanding and sexual confusion. He turned to homosexuality only to realize this isn't what I want to be a part of. I would have never been a part of this in the first place. And he, he was able to be set free from that by the power of the very name that, my friend, you are ashamed of, and that's the name of Jesus Christ. It goes on to say, uh, McClurkin goes on to say, uh, the Arts and Humanities Commission and Donnie McClurkin's management decided that it would be best for him to withdraw because of the purpose of the event to bring people together, said the mayor's spokesman, Doxy McCoy, told the Washington Post. Mayor Gray said that the purpose of the event is to promote peace and harmony. That's what King was all about. Now, King was about uh, uh, civil rights and the African Americans being given the same rights as whites. And Martin Luther King was right about that, 150%. He would be angry about Donnie McClurk and being told to stay home. He would be angry about that. You know he would. And get this. McClurkin said they accused me of being anti-gay and a bigot. He stated during his concert in 2007, they've accused, he, he told CNN, we don't believe in discrimination. We don't believe in hatred. And if you do, you are in the wrong place at the wrong time. That's the whole premise of God. That's the whole premise of Christ is to love, love, love. But there's a side of Christ that deals in judgment. And all sin is against God. Don't call me a bigot or an anti-gay when I've been touched by the same feelings, said McClurkin. Don't tell me I stand up and I say vile words against the gay community because I don't. I don't speak against homosexuals. I tell you that God delivered me from homosexuality. You see, Donnie McClurkin has an offended one homosexual person. He's offending the whole sin community, sin, because he's saying, Christ set me free. They don't want to hear Christ set me free because they want him to say, Christ said we can stay in them, that we can be gay and be Christians. No, you can't. You can't live a gay lifestyle and be saved. You have to come out of that sin to be set free, which is what McClurkin, that's McClurkin's message. Now, here's what happened to Tim Tebow. Should we be mad at Donnie McClurkin? But why isn't anybody, why isn't the media just pounding on Mayor Vincent Gray? Because they're all in the boat together, floating down the, the river sticks to hell, and they refuse to repent of their sins. Now, uh, this is what happened to Tim Tebow. Tim Tebow course, Heisman Trophy football player, two-time national champion, playing for the Denver Broncos, took a bad team, had six miracle victories, took them to the playoffs, even beat the Pittsburgh Steelers in the playoffs, only to be let go by Denver, traded to the Jets. When arriving at the Jets, he was stuck on the end of the bench and mocked and made fun of no matter how terrible the season went, no matter how bad Mark Sanchez played. Tim Tebow was not allowed to really get on the field simply because he loves Jesus Christ. And I know it and everybody else knows it. They even cut him at the last second, trying to eliminate him from the NFL. Thank God the New England Patriots said, no, we're going to put him on our team. And Saturday night, uh, or the other night, there was a football game against the, uh, the Patriots played the Philadelphia Eagles. 
and Tim Tebow got to get in the game. He was four for 12 passing, not real impressive, 55 yards, and he did run the ball four times for 31 yards rushing, which that is impressive. So not bad. Um, the game ends, he's in the locker room, and a cameraman drops his camera. And when he drops it, he's, he hollers out, Jesus Christ. But he doesn't holler it out in a praise to Jesus Christ. He uses the Jesus Christ, he uses the Lord's name in vain. But instead of being chastised for that, or yelled at, or Tim Tebow, who was very close by, heard him say it, saw what happened, turned and looked at him and said, he loves you. In other words, Jesus Christ. He loves you. In other words, just everybody come, settle down a minute. Jesus loves you. You said his name. I'm telling you, he loves you. That is being reported. That was big news uh, that night. Of course, here's what Tim Tebow used to do in college. He used to wear John 3.16 um, with the face paint. Of course, he's not allowed to wear that in the NFL. You're not allowed to put John 3.16 on his face like that. Not in the NFL because you're discriminated against in the NFL. It doesn't matter if you're black or white, folks. This is not a black or white subject. This is a right or wrong subject. This is salvation through Jesus Christ. And those two men are standing for the word of God. And they're being persecuted for it. But they're still winners. They're still successful. And no matter what happens in life, no matter what you do in life, if you're a Christian, you shall suffer persecution. The Bible says they that live godly shall suffer persecution. You don't believe me? Read the comments below. Even before, as I'm recording this video right now, I already know below, the comments below, there will be people who say, you're right, Pastor Begley, and there will be people who will, who will persecute me right below. Read them, and, read them and watch what people do. They hate Jesus Christ, but Jesus loves them, and so do I. And if you do hear the words, Jesus Christ, just remember, he loves you.